start off charcuterie board assembly, you're going to need a base. This could be a cool wooden cutting board. They make boards for this very purpose that you can get at like at home, Hobby Lobby, pretty much anywhere Target, any home goods store really have them. Yeah. Under 20 bucks, I'd say. Or you can buy a tile like the one below at your local hardware store or Lowe's. We picked this up for $5. $5, and that's a 12 by 24 inch marble tile. Starting with the cream cheese. Oh, so creamy. Because you gotta have a nice, good cream cheese spread. We have some fun ideas with some pepper jelly and cranberry stuff. Start placing the big items on the board first. We got that big cream cheese. And then a bit later, we're gonna throw our smoked gouda. And our sharp cheddar. Those cubes. Get some different textures in there, make it look good. You don't want it to look too clumpy. You kind of want to like separate the cheeses, make sure they're not too close together. If you have like a hummus or a dip or something, you're gonna need ramekins. We ended up not using these, although they're pretty cute if I do say so. Target guys, dollar section. Target. <laughs> always find a deal we got like six different kinds of cheeses for this board so mm -hmm. we're going doing all the cheeses first because that's the most that we have and then we're gonna go back and add meats veggies bread the fruits every cheese we tried to cut it a different way so the cheddar we cubed the pepper jack we kind of wedged so there's those meat the salami wheel slammy but in the end, don't overthink where you put anything, really, because as you're putting more stuff, you can always scooch it here and there a little bit. Go back and fill in any space that you see. So it's going to look a little messy, and I, see, I think the best ones actually look messy. Um, Just overflowing with the cheese and, like, the vegetables and grapes over the side. Ooh, there's that hot pepper jelly on top of the cream cheese. Then we're going to add a cranberry cranberry relish and it had some like holiday seasoning like nutmeg or cinnamon it had something. something in it so that would be great for a holiday taste it taste it <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's that cranberry relish and just Ooh. let it ooze over the sides that pepper jelly was super good it was just jalapeno and red bell pepper and then we're just gonna come in and start filling all the spaces so you're gonna need some crackers you're gonna need some bread some starches to eat with your meats and cheeses for that nice grain balance. We got a few different kinds of crackers. We got a variety pack. The wheat crackers, the, wheat, the multi grain like the, the thin thins. To like crisp, crisp thins. You could do pretzel cracker, pretzel chips, pretzel crackers. You could do like crostinis, toasted garlic bread. We're breaking up that middle part with some fruit. You gotta add some fruit sporadically throughout your board. The grapes were such we're, oh, so were so good, especially like eating it, like having a grape right next to you to just eat after every bite. More than half so a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Making it is awesome because you just get to eat everything while you make it too. <laughs> oh, and there's that everything bagel goat, goat cheese. Good. So good. So good. We decided to ixnay the almonds in the ramekin. No ramekin happened mm -hmm. today, but it'll come another day. They'll get their time to shine. Next time we'll have a hummus. <laughs> just, I'm just eating away. <laughs> Snack attack, girl. I can't deny it. I'm a straight eater. <laughs> you don't want to starve me. <laughs> okay, looking good. Ooh, finally got that sharp white cheddar. Yeah, so already we got in the top left corner that sharp white Wisconsin. Was it Wisconsin? Was it New no, York? No, it was New York. Was yeah, New, New York, York sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar, white cheddar. We just cut it into like straws, cheese straws, if you will. Just try to keep that shape variety up to par. Getting a little meat pocket going. Mmm. Fan it out. Ooh, more Ooh, fruit. Those grapes. Just like space fillers, really. Yes. Kind of helps cleanse the palate in between trying the different cheeses. Oh, I guess this wouldn't work well for people who don't like their food to touch. Well, cry about it. But we hey, we saw some really beautiful symmetrical charcuterie boards as well. That like where none of the food touched at all. So just maybe go down that avenue. It, you can still make it work for you. It just won't quite look like this. But next time, I want to put some more veggies. Mm -hmm, for sure. Definitely more veggies. The jalapenos were amazing. Ooh, those pickles. 
if you don't underestimate it, a good pickle on a charcuterie board like you can that. get mini dill you can get the bread and butter we would never that's no. so disrespectful we picked our kind cut them up a little bit make them a little more edible smaller pieces this was really just like a snack board whatever we were feeling we kind of just like the made it go snack. with snack attack if you will and it's really like the mm. final touches that really bring it all together like right now you can tell that it's coming together but once we start like literally filling in all of those gaps is when it's really like, wow, this is finished and beautiful. And don't worry about making things if you think it's too random. It doesn't really matter what, get, what gets put next mm -hmm. to anything. Um, like just like if you have cheese that you're going to have to cut, maybe like leave like a smidge of room so it's easy to access. Make it work. I think definitely next time we'll make like a whipped cream cheese. I think we need a sweet cheese too. I think we should That's do a sweet, sweet cheese. We should do like a half and half board of half savory, half sweet. Oh my gosh, yes. Fill in those spaces. Find anything random. It won't be random, like. Throw it on. You know, kind of distribute the color you don't want all the reds on one side i mean unless that's what you're trying to go for but you kind of want the eye to bounce around think of it as an artwork want your eye to move throughout the piece see all the different good bits of it so you want the color to kind of be throughout so your eye goes throughout bam, it bam exactly get those hints of contrast those lights those darks this pops of color. Ooh, we found the cucumbers at this point. Yeah, and having the foods overlap, I think that really gives it like the effortless, carefree kind of, it just happened to land here and looks Flows beautiful. together. Right in the middle there, right where the tomatoes, cucumber, and grapes are. Love that, with all the pretzels and the meat by it. There it is, in all its beauty.